Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 23rd, 2023. Well, yesterday, doggone it, we were starting with a bullish move to the upside. It started to fade throughout the morning in the pre-market as retail earnings started to affect um, the sentiment and this morning we're starting with the same thing uh, we were up more than 120 points in the Dow and then we got uh, footlocker earnings which really disappointed the market uh, footlocker dropping dramatically here this morning and then we also have received mortgage demand numbers that uh, dropped to a 28 year low so we're seeing some stress on that consumer and that is fading the pre-market here again today. So what does that mean for the way the day shapes up? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday's fade and a sell-off into the day came right back down here to retest the lows in the diamonds, but you'll notice that we didn't break that down. As a matter of fact, the diamonds continues to cling to that upside trend here in the market, albeit we had that problem where we failed to break back through that resistance in the chart. You'll notice here if we look at our technicals, our moving averages, well we're going to see a situation here where we have tried to rally back up there to retest that 50 day moving average but we're just not able to show the strength to push on through there at the moment. And the weakening consumer, the the concerns, the, the additional downgrades in the banks and the concerns of the rising uh, bond yields um, adding additional pressure to the market so a little bit of uncertainty out there and those bears are staying active despite the fact that we're in an oversold condition in the short term and should be looking for a relief rally to occur at any time now that being said let's take a look if the bulls were to get inspired today where would they go I would suggest a push to that resistance level in the chart right up here. And if we can push through that level, well then maybe we come right on up here and we take a look at that 50 day moving average. You will wanna notice that the short term averages are gonna come down and they're starting to create a little bit of a technical resistance, but maybe we push up into this area of the chart. And um, beyond that point, we would be looking at probably a resistance level up here around these big opposing uh, bullish and bearish candles to see whether or not we could breach back through into that next level. If um, the bears were to find inspiration here today, well you can see a retest of this support level would be uh, pretty simple to see and, and logical. And if that were to break, well, where do we go from there? Well, if you look down in this chart, by golly, the next um, strong level of price support in the chart is substantially lower, but we might catch a little bit of price support right along that area right there. So um, watch carefully. You can see we've got a little data right in here suggesting that could be the next level. Unfortunately, that would um, take out the upside trend here in the diamonds and they, it would join the other indexes in that failure of the trend. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, very, very similar here, um, except the fact that we held up much better. And this gives us a little bit more of that lean um, that we could get a um, relief rally coming. You'll notice in here that we didn't break all the way back down. As a matter of fact, we recovered this price support level in the chart. A lot of this is due to the real heavy anticipation of NVIDIA um, and that report coming on later this afternoon. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So if the bears were to continue to find inspiration today pushing down, let's look for a retest of this support level to see if that holds. If that were not to hold, 
then I'm guessing an area down in here to retest that low could be the next level and then right on down here to that next level of price support that I've got marked in the chart. However, if the bulls can come up with some inspiration in here on the day, I'm going to look for this resistance level up here to resist the upside of that move. Of course, we've got a little bit of price resistance right there that we'll have to get through first. But if we can pop through there, maybe up into that next area of resistance. And then, of course, we want to re um, remain reminded that right up in that area is where we're going to run into that 50-day moving average as price resistance. If we take a look at our QQQ, oh, by the way, I think I covered both sides of that. Yeah, if uh, we take a look at our QQQ, very similar here to the SPY. As a matter of fact, it really is the big tech that um, has allowed this to occur. And we've got a similar situation here in the chart where we pushed back up, we recovered that area of resistance in the chart but then by the end of the day faded back through that the pre-market we're trying to jump up there and hold on to it again we'll want to watch that carefully here if the bears were to continue to find inspiration here on the day well you can see we've got a support level right down in here that we could test easily if that were to fail then maybe this low would be um, the retest that we'd be looking for. If the bulls find inspiration here today, well, and bouncing off of this support level, if they can in this little trend break right here, if they can do that, then we might be looking for a surge up into this level of the chart. And I think that is certainly, either one of those is certainly possible um, with that NVIDIA earnings because uh, boy, there's a lot of volatility around that and very highly anticipated. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM struggling yesterday. Um, we popped up into this little price resistance level of the chart and then faded quickly away from that. Clearly, we didn't make new lows on the day, but a little bit of concern here in that um, chart. And if we were to continue to find uh, bearish inspiration here today, well, then a test down here in that support area looks like the likely possibility. If the bulls were to find inspiration and have enough energy to pop through here, well, then we'll start looking for this level right up here to see if we can find um, some resistance in the chart. You will want to keep in mind that we are below our 50-day moving average. And as a matter of fact, we're kind of hanging out on that 200-day moving average. So if um, this were to fail, that could be a kind of a critical failure here in IWM. We'll want to keep a close eye on that. In that rally back up, we've got the 50-day serving as resistance. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, and this has been that problem, and it's something that I've talked about many times, and that is that break of that downtrend and the hold of the higher low creating that concern here in the market. And as we continue to see the consumer weakening here um, in, in these reports, more worry and concern is starting to come up here. So as we rest or pull back here in our VIX, what we want to be watching for is if those bears were continuing to continue to find inspiration here to push lower, then we need to see this upside trend hold and we would extend. And I would suggest also that if we extend from here, we're likely to see a little bit of panic come into the market. The selling could get harsh if that were to occur. If you're a bull and we need this market to really start turning to the upside, then what you want to see is you want to see that fear really subsiding, a little bit of confidence coming into the market, pulling that back and maybe even breaking that trend uh, to the downside is what you're going to want to see. Watch that carefully. Now, if we look at our T2122, our T2122, as you can see, continues to be in the bearish reversal zone, excuse me, bullish reversal zone. We're down here in an oversold condition of the market, but the data is not helping us out. We can't seem to catch a break here to get a little bit of relief in the market. It's just that that uh, big tech giants have been relieving some of that pressure, but there's not enough stocks 
moving up to relieve this. So we're going to want to watch this pretty closely. We should expect a relief rally to occur anytime if we can catch a break on the data. And there may be some stuff in the earnings later this afternoon that could possibly free that up a little bit. So let's watch that carefully. Lingering down here is not a surprise because we lingered up here so long, stretching the market that maybe we're just um, a little bit tired tired here and our consumer being tired could keep us down in this range for a while. If we take a look at our T2108, uh, well by golly we can see the results yesterday even though big tech has been giving us this idea that everything is good, that we're going to bounce and we're going to race back to the top. Well the majority of stocks are disagreeing with that. We continued to fall yesterday in the percentage of stocks above the 40 day. We are failing this price support level in here and if we look lower in the chart you can see we could go quite a bit lower to find that next area of price support if we can't get some help from the data. So 28% of the stocks, 28.5% uh, of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. That is a massive change when we were up here pushing 76, 77 in the chart. So quite a lot of damage has been created here and we are oversold. So watch for that possibility of a relief uh, rally to the upside to test some resistance levels if we can get some break in the data. Our T2107, same situation here where we were um, hopeful um, because of big tech rising, uh, well, that didn't prove to be very um, helpful to the overall market with a percentage of stocks above the 200 day continuing to slide lower, 43 and a quarter per percent of the stocks holding above their um, 200 day moving average is not all that comfortable here, but we still have a good level of price support in this chart to be watching for. the pot. So the possibility we could catch in here and begin that relief rally may be a little bit easier to envision here in the T2107. Now T2101 is finally showing us that little hook over. Now if you noticed in those index charts, volume was lighter yesterday. So we may be starting to ease up on the selling pressure here if the data doesn't keep piling on. Um, with the volume shrinking in this, we hooked over in our T2101, and that is potentially telling us that a buy wave could begin if we don't really put a lot of pressure to the downside from data. So watch that carefully here, fingers crossed uh, for a relief rally um, coming along. Now what we don't want to see is we don't want to see the relief rally seeing market breadth declining sharply because if we don't have the energy on the rally to the upside, meaning we continue to extend T2101 to the upside, then um, and that starts to relieve um, that buy pressure on shrinking volume, then we have to be watching for that next shoe to fall and the bears coming back in with a vengeance and they'll gain some confidence if that volume fades on the buy wave here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar um, on the day. Our economic calendar, we do, or excuse me, our earnings calendar. Let's do the earnings calendar next and for some reason, where is my economic calendar? There we go. Um, our economic calendar for today, we've got um, a PMI. Uh, we've already got the mortgage data came in at a 28 year low. Um, PMI will be coming out here at 945 this morning. European markets had PMI moving lower um, last, uh, well, this morning. Um, interestingly enough, all of their markets are green, um, however, after that trying to extend yesterday's gains. And if we take a look after that at 10 o'clock, we've got new home sales. I kind of suspect this could be a little bit of a stressor here today. We saw new home sales consensus numbers are suggesting an improvement 
with the mortgage rates that might be a stretch so watch that carefully this could be a miss today and then we've got our petroleum status numbers and we've been seeing that stress in the oil sector raising those gas prices putting more and more pressure on the consumer keep a close eye on that bond auctions a two-year bond auction and a 20-year bond auction certainly going to be notable today to be paying attention to as we continue to see those bond yields rising watch those closely um, we're going to move into Thursday with durable goods orders, jobless claims. Of course, that one's been problematic for us in the Fed. We got the Chicago Fed National Activity and a natural gas report. Later on, we have the Fed balance sheet. You'll want to keep in mind, we're going to also start hearing lots of talking head reports out of Jackson Hole. And of course, that's all going to culminate with Jerome Powell talking on Friday. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today. We have a few more notables for today to be paying attention to that could move us around. We've got um, Abercrombie um, reporting today. It looks like it's a little bit lower. I don't think it's reported yet, though keep an eye on that one. We've got Advance Auto reporting today a little bit of back and forth in that one not a big um not a big response so far this morning watch that one um adi reporting today Oof, that one's gonna hurt um, adi moving uh sharply lower after its earnings report adsk will be reporting this afternoon you'll want to keep an eye on that one bbwi reporting today watch that one closely obviously Retail struggling here in Bed Bath. Looks like it's not having the best of mornings either um, here today. Uh, DY will be reporting. Nice little pop there going on in that one on the pre-market. Um, supporting construction and spending in that area looking good. Uh, Foot Locker, we looked at that one already. That's going to leave a mark. Uh, that one hurts quite a bit with a big move to the downside. Uh, we've got GES reporting today. Um, NTAP, NetApp will be reporting after the bell today. We're going to have that highly anticipated NVIDIA. Um, this, this stock is truly remarkable. Right now it's trading at a PE ratio of over 200. Um, well over 200 as a matter of fact and it is just absolutely remarkable um, how much anticipation there is in this trade yesterday before the close I looked at the short-term options on Nvidia and they were over a hundred fit and fifty percent implied volatility suggesting those options are extremely expensive expect suggesting there is tremendous speculation going on this report this could be very very important for the the psyche of the market tomorrow morning uh, this will report after the bell so watch that one closely with it being so highly anticipated, I think NVIDIA is going to have to hit one out of the park to continue to move to the upside. If it comes in with a mediocre report, I would expect a little bit of disappointment here on NVIDIA uh, today. So, you know, watch that one closely. It could be a big market mover for tomorrow morning. If we take a look at uh, Peloton, Peloton missing the mark, moving sharply lower here this morning. We've got Snowflake reporting today. Watch that one. SPLK will be reporting today. And last but not least, William Sonoma will be reporting. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please make sure you click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, even an emoji it counts as engagement with the video and helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone for all the kind support that you've shown to the channel. I truly appreciate it. It obviously takes considerable effort to put these videos out every single day and your support to the channel means the world to me. I truly, truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and remember guys, these are not recommendations that 
that um, I would, or recommendations to buy or sell a security, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful because um, the volatility of this market has been pretty substantial. We could whipsaw tremendously tomorrow as a result of those in, in, in video in, in, um, reports. Um, remember, NVIDIA right now being so highly anticipated could certainly shift the sentiment to the upside, particularly in the tech sector, or shift it uh, sharply lower. So be prepared and ready for that. Now, yesterday um, I mentioned CCJ and some of the um, stocks in this sector and that continues to look very, very good, continuing to stretch. You can see my price alert in here, moving up in this nice little trend. CCJ looking great. Any rest or pullback in here now would set up the next opportunity. I don't know that I would wanna chase that at the moment, but we'll watch that closely. This is a huge breakout in this stock, and you can see we may be reaching up here for these next levels of, of price, uh, price resistance in the chart, so keep an eye on that. Of course, um, URA, you could certainly see the same thing on URA, stretching to the upside, breaking through resistance, um, moving up nicely, UUUU, also making a nice move, breaking through resistance. Um, any consolidation or rest up here, holding into this trend would set up that next opportunity to the upside. So I would keep an eye on those. I would also be keeping a close eye on this Telray. Telray I talked about yesterday as well. If it can hold this price support in the chart, remember this is a big, big change here for Telray that was primarily just uh, cannabis and uh, things like that. And it's made a big purchase from Anheuser-Busch picking up eight of their brands. If this can hold in this area, hold this uh, support area, watch for that next opportunity to the upside in Telray. Um, nice looking chart at the moment, a little volatile, but let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at um, GE. Now, GE has been struggling here just a little bit here recently, breaking down below its trend. We've rallied back up. I would be watching for the possibility that GE runs into some price resistance. We might see some selling and continuation of that downtrend here. Keep an eye on that. And I'm seeing that in a lot of charts. Take a look at the financials after we saw um, S&P Global uh, downgrade uh, the banks um, following the Fitch downgrades, we're seeing some more pressure here. And as our bond yields continue to go up, I would be watching that carefully here. Any rally back um, could set up um, a an additional sell point in the chart and watch this right here if you'll notice we've got a 50 day a 200 day failure our 8 exponential our 34 exponential everything is coming in here to collide right in this area and provide a major technical resistance as well so any rally back up I would be watching for that next potential short here in the banks because things are not improving on, um, on their side um, at the moment with um, all of these financial concerns cropping up. So watch those closely. Um, let's take a quick peek at um, oil because we're gonna be watching this one today. Oil sector um, has faded just a little tiny bit, but holding up nicely in an upside trend. I would be watching carefully here today on those numbers coming out of petroleum status that could help support these prices or hurt. So watch that carefully in here. We did make a little lower high, but we're still holding that trend. Watch this one closely. We could have a break of this trend or maybe we could reverse and head back on up here in that oil sector, depending on how those numbers come in this morning. I apologize, guys. I was a little bit too long-winded in the explanation of the market and going over the um, uh, earnings for today. So I'm running short of time. I need to cut this off. I want to wish you guys a very productive day in your trading, a very profitable day. I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning, and I wish you all the best.